Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your Old Nerd of the Day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today, I'm going to show you something really cool. I picked up the Kohi Plus, Kohi Press Immersion Travel Mug. This thing makes French press coffee. You know how much I love coffee, and you know that I prefer French press because it's fuller bodied. It's richer tasting, it's richer smelling, just all around better coffee than regular drip coffee. This is a 12 ounce mug, stainless steel, BPA free plastic, vacuum sealed. You make your French press coffee in here in minutes and you're out the door. Okay, so I'm gonna disassemble this. Here's the lid right there. Just like that, and then you've got the plunger coming out of the mug. See, there's a stainless steel mug right there, and there is the plunger. As you know, when you make French press coffee, you plunge it. This is it right there. Stainless steel micron filter right there, and then down the side. And then they give you a groovy little spoon that reaches down in when you stir your coffee. That's awesome. So I picked myself up some red brick coarse ground coffee. Um, of course, when you do French press, you want a coarse ground coffee uh, to use, which basically makes the coffee about little sea salt size little dailies there. <laughs> but you, you get your coarse ground coffee, preferably if you want the best. You have the beans, you make it up right ahead of time that you have your coffee. That's gonna give you the best flavor. But I mean, you, you can put it in the fridge afterwards. You know how that goes. Got my electric kettle heating over there, heating up the water. Um, you don't want it to boiling. Preferably you want it 200 degrees. So I would suggest that uh, you let it boil and then let it sit for maybe a minute or something. That should be about right. Let me show you something really cool. This right here, that spring right there, makes it so when you pour the water in to make your coffee, it goes up and inside, but it doesn't distribute back out. So it's like when you make your coffee, you're, you're thinking, well, you know, with all those grounds and everything, of course, eventually I'm gonna get some bitterness and. And because it, it's it's mixing with everything, but that's just it. With this thing, it just goes in, it stays in. So let's go ahead and pull some coffee out of here. I think I will put in two scoops of it. Um, do it to taste. Two to three would probably be the right amount. I'll do two and wrap that coffee back up and put it back in the fridge. There's there's a lot of debate on whether you leave coffee out or you leave it in the fridge. I just always put it in the fridge. I think it's personal preference that, you know, you're gonna hear arguments on both sides. So do what you want. Okay, the water's done, so I'm just letting it cool down for about a minute. There is a fill line. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see if I can get it. Not sure if you can see it but it's it's right about here but it is inside so you can see it and what i would do is fill it to about right there let's do that trying to regulate it it's kind of difficult to see up here yeah, that should be about right. So just how you would with a regular French press after you put the coffee in, you want to just stir it just a little bit because that coffee is going to bloom. So just stir it just a little bit and then let this set for about three to four minutes. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. While you're waiting for your timer to go off, if you're a little bit concerned about it getting too cool, go ahead and just take the plunger and 
set it right like that and that should keep it fine. I mean that's what you do with a regular French press anyway, right? And once again, whether you do it for three minutes or four minutes is, is totally your call. I mean, it, it's going to depend on how big a hurry you are. But also, you know, do I want my coffee a little bit stronger, not as strong? Just, just, reg just play with it. Alexa, stop. All right. It should be done. So there's the plunger. Put the lid back on and keep the, the little thing open because you don't want to build pressure up when you're pressing that down. And then just do it slowly. Here, I'll show you. There it goes. Just like you would a regular French press. and all those grounds down and all that coffee up inside. Okay, and once you're done there, just go ahead and screw it on tight like that. And that is it. It's ready to go. Your coffee, my friends, French press coffee is completely done. Let's go ahead and give it a try. That's good. I don't have a glass coffee mug, so I just got a glass glass to show you what it looks like. See? There you go. Looks good. Nice color. The coffee will stay piping hot in here anywhere from three hours to four hours, which I think is pretty doggone good. Usually, I'm, I'm not one to let my coffee sit that long. And if you want really good French press coffee, you drink it within the first, I'd say about the first 15 minutes of making it, but three to four hours. Now you can also put cold stuff in here and it'll keep it cold. I don't know why you would um, for something like this, but you know, you know, whatever floats your boat. So once you get home, once you're done with it, uh, just go ahead and take it apart. Uh, take all three pieces apart, the lid off, the plunger out of the mug, and then run it under hot water. Um, some of the, the little um, rubber uh, gaskets or whatever, there's a rubber gasket down below in the plunger that comes out. You can wash that up and then preferably just let it air dry. Another cool thing that I found out that a lot of people want to know, yes, this is uh, dishwasher safe. So you can put all three parts in the dishwasher, put it in the top rack, and yeah, that'll take care of it right there if you want to do it that way too. That is some freaking hot coffee. Not Charbucks hot. It's not supposed to be like that. So this works well, makes good coffee, and that right there is everything. So I'll put a link below if you're interested in getting one for yourself. The Kohi Plus Kohi Press. Uh, make yourself some good French press coffee. There you go, gang. Another demo review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, hit me up on my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, the website, and the Old Nerd Reviews 2 channel where I do non-food related unboxings, demos, and product reviews. All those links are down below also in the description. If you do all that, you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Okay, you guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll... Talk to you again. Bye now.